Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite Explosive when I just woke up, and we're playing Madden 20. Uh, Jonas, you're on sticks. Yeah. Oil daddies, let's get it. Dadums. We're ready to, we're ready to make everybody pay. I just woke up. You did. I want to put that out there. You said that in twice. The, in the universe. You're a universal guy. I want to make sure that everybody's aware of my level of dedication. Yeah. To where I will open my eyes and record videos for YouTube. Because yeah, your I, eyes are closed, though. Because I love YouTube. Yeah. Hello, everybody. It's uh, the coach. How do you feel about universal remotes? Wow. Um, I like uni, uni remotes, but you always run into that issue where like 90% of the buttons work and then like that 10% of the buttons don't work. <laughs> it's, and it's always like getting to the menu or something that doesn't yeah. work. You're like, well, great. It's like I have a TV in my bedroom that I bought at, at the Salvation Army, Goodwill, whatever. It was like 40 bucks. It was just like a 30-some inch TV or 40-inch TV, right? Sure. It's stuck in like that mode where like it's zoomed in just like one step no. and and no and it didn't come with a remote and the universal remote will not let me get to a point where i can take that off <laughs> no that's unfortunate <laughs> right it, i mean it's okay though i mean it's a crappy picture anyway it's an old tv and i barely ever watch it so i'm not too worried about it but it's like that's a prime example of something that like yeah that's always the case though it is, yeah. And then, like, there's not a universal way of setting universal remotes, so it's always some convoluted plan. Like, you have to hold the menu button in for 25 seconds. <laughs> While juggling three donuts. Yeah, you got to call your mom and then ask her for her social security number. Enter that into the universal Somehow remote. Somehow it knows that your mother's social security number. I don't know. It does, man. Yeah, then you have to type in her maiden name after that. Yeah, they're all kept in a database. The mom database. Base. It's, the, it's the Trump Nation database. Wow. You're getting political, huh? No, I just said Trump Nation. That's political. There's only one Trump. Is there? Yeah, and you voted for him. There's a Trump it? There's a Trump card. Have you ever played like an instrument that's like four bands? Like, uh, like a trumpet? Actually, uh, yes. I. Jonu! Funny story behind me joining band. Okay. Uh, initially, you mean just the fact that you joined is funny, or there's other things. Too? Initially, there was like this girl I liked in school, and she was like, "I'm gonna join band," and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna join band too." And she was like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna play the flute," and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna play the flute too." Oh God, that was bad. So then I told my parents I wanted to play the flute, and it was like, "Nah." <laughs> You're not playing the flute. You're like, you can play something, but it ain't yeah, going to be the flute. Yeah, look, homie, you ain't playing the flute. So it was like, you, know, you, can play, <laughs> you can play this trumpet. And I was like, all right, that's, that's like a flute, but like, it's, you know, it's got more testosterone. Yeah, it's the manly flute. Like, if you were to give a flute testosterone injections, if a flute had low T, like. <laughs> <laughs> if, if flute was the equivalent of low T. Yeah. A flute is just a trumpet with low T. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jesus. I mean, that's, like a, that's a hot take. But, <laughs> it I mean, is a hot take, but I feel like I mean, it's it kind of it kind of fits, though. It's 100% true. It is. I got to see this guy. I have to give this guy um, she, she, the good stuff. Uh -huh, sure. I have to get four touchdowns for him, yeah. or he doesn't live. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Melvin. So I ended up playing the trumpet, dude, and uh, did you know trumpets have spit valves? I do. I played the trumpet, too. Yeah, that lasted for like a good month and a half, dude. I'm just not musically inclined. Oh, God, Jesus. Come on, man. Don't make like, Christmas crackers. Like, I love music, and I like to, like, listen to it. I wouldn't even say that anymore. You don't like listening to music? That, you know, that's, that's that's a whole nother story, but we can't get into that, too. So since, like, I don't know, man. Since One like, down, three to go for our boy Melvin. Since, like, the incursion and the re re renaissance of, like, podcasts, I've gotten way more into that. Well, and it's fun. You know what's really funny? It's like, okay, we do a podcast. Yeah. I, um... 
<clears throat> I used to, back in the day, listen to tons of sports talk radio. So, and even just morning shows. Like, yeah, me too. I love listening to people talk, well, but I don't man. listen to a lot of podcasts. I, don't, I mean, I, and I don't know why. I wouldn't say I listen to a lot of podcasts. I just have a, a certain number of people whose voice I can tolerate while I'm doing another activity. Yeah. But yeah, music ain't my thing, man. I don't know. Like, I, I do. I like music, but I yeah. just have not been listening to it lately. Well, there also hasn't been, like, new albums by anybody. There absolutely has been. There absolutely has been? Yeah, man. Who? Jack Boys just came out. And that Jack was a, Boys? And that apparently, it was wonderful. Uh, Lil Tecca just came oh, out boy. with something. Those all sound like people I Roddy do. Rich just dry. I actually really like Roddy Rich, too. Roddy man. Rich. Is that Rich Homie Kwan's friend? Don't eat, look, dude, pops. <laughs> pops, it's okay. Bro, don't even pops me. I'm just saying is that the music of today is not necessarily for your uh, your weathered ears. Your weathered ears, you know? I'm glad you didn't say demographic because I was going to put the white card in there. Well, I would never say that. I'm just saying. You say demographic because I'm old. Ooh, well, yeah, that's true, and I would have been like, why is it good? <laughs> but why <laughs> was because I'm old and white? No, <laughs> just an old white guy. <laughs> they don't have any <laughs> any uh, heritage music out there for I'm, me. I'm saying is that there is not there is a correlation, but not a causation. Um, the main thing, Jonas, is that you know, like uh, you know, music don't really spark the fire in 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 our older ears like it used to, man. It sparks some fire in me sometimes. No. Um, Ooh, I'm afraid that if you were to listen to a, uh, oh my god, I can't even think of his name. <laughs> Hot Rod Rich. <laughs> Such a. Dad. I'm just I'm just being a, g- a jerk now. No, but if I caught you listening to Trippy Red, I'd be like, look, Jonas, <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to prove. Why can't here. I listen to Trippy Red, dude? He. <laughs> He had that one song with that. He that had that one Baby song. Goth. Baby, Baby Goth. Goth was on that one. Stop it. We're not turning. Did anything ever the... happen to her? Did Absolutely. She... she was trash, dude. But she... did she disappear? Good, good. She was a plant, got her tattooed face, and then she disappeared. Got her tattooed face. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure she did that before she decided to be a plant. No, dude. They had the whole thing online about why she was a plant. And she didn't have tattoos. She used that to be was like one YouTube video. She used to be that. Princess Sparkle Pants. Every girl was Princess Sparkle Pants at one point in time. I gotcha. What what trippy red song should I listen to? Oh jeez, you know, this uh his new his newest album is the uh What is this view I'm in? Look at this. It's like it's letters. like Jesus view. It's nice view. It's like Love Letters to You 4 or something, but I really like Love Letters to You. That was like his first CD that you dug, right? Uh, when he was like nine? No, I, I really like Love Letters to You 2, I think, with Firestar- Firestarter is by far my favorite Trippy Red song. It's an amazing song. I highly recommend it. Firestarter? Like, oh uh, you're the twisted Firestarter? See? <laughs> See, that's 1990-something again. We're going back there. Dude, Don't no. even mention the fact that you were just, like, singing and humming and whistling Devo before we started oh, playing. Oh, I was, wasn't I? Uh-huh. Where did Devo get in my head? I wasn't even listening to Devo today. I mean, I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not here to judge you, but I'm hey, just man. saying is that, you know, like... Well, just, you're, you're not here to judge me, but you're judging me. I'm not <laughs> judging you. I'm just saying is that it's very... Com- like I said, dude, it's very common for people to get stuck on that music that they listen to when they're... Uh, Devo was like the 80s, though. When they're an impressionable kid. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You, th- Whatever is popular when you're growing up is what you end up listening to, and yeah. then you think that's the best music ever. Yeah, because that's when you had an emotional response. To right. Things. It's like when you're like, oh, man, this movie's so good, and then you go watch it, and you're like, this is the worst effing movie I've ever seen in my life as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> but Fight Club is still good to this day. It is. Right? No, there's. I mean, there's some good movies. But like, think about like some dumb show you watched as a kid and go try to turn it on now, and you're like, oh my god, what was I even like? Yeah. Like I loved Perfect Strangers as a kid. I guarantee you, if I watched some Perfect Strangers right now, I probably would barely make it through. 50 Dude, minutes. cousin Larry. I, I think maybe that's a bad example. But because I probably would want to watch a more of it. But we are just forty-two to nothing. Cousin Larry. Cousin Larry. Balky Bartakamoose. All right, Jonas, I got a hot take for you. Better TV show. uh, 
Whew. Fresh Prince or Family Matters? Fresh Prince. Okay. Uh, Fresh Prince versus Full House. Fresh Prince. Family Matters versus Full House. Full House. Really? <laughs> That's the one that gets you. Really? That's the one that gets you. No, it's fine, dude. I like Danny Tanner, dude. I like John, <laughs> and, Danny and, and, and John Stamos, dude. I what? love Carl Winslow, too. Don't get me wrong. Cut it out, Cut, dude. Right, dude. Cut it out. You know how much I like dad jokes, and that show was like one giant. No, oh my joke. god, it really was. It really was. It really, really was. Yeah, dude, it was. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, uh, keep going, man. I'll go. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep going, I, man. <laughs> Night <laughs> Rider or Quantum don't, Leap? Don't worry, Joe. I'll do all the hefty vocal lifting here. <laughs> Let's keep it going. That's Whatever, all dude. I got, dude. That's all you got? Okay. That's really all I got. All right, dude. that's fine. Yeah, uh, but Knight uh, Rider versus Tropic Thunder. What? Exactly. <laughs> Who versus Tropic Thunder? Knight Rider. Oh, God. Tropic Thunder, like the... Movie? I have to admit that we've been bereft of talking and or sentient vehicle uh, sitcoms or action coms. Yeah, dude, what was the last talking car? There hasn't been There one should be, all. like, dude, you know what would be relevant today? They could have, like, a talking, self-driving car. I mean, they've already done that with Knight Rider. <laughs> Da, 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 but da, da, you gotta da. think, this is like the time period where like Herbie was a thing. Do you remember Herbie? Yeah, what? but he didn't talk. Yo, re- but Herbie was a beast. They redid Herbie with Bruce Campbell and L- Lindsay Lohan, I and remember. somehow it didn't work. Well, well, imagine that. Yeah, right. Because everybody wants to see Lindsay Lohan do something. I mean, I can take a shot. Like listen, <laughs> listen. Maybe like twenty. You, no, wait. Maybe not. You gotta stop thinking with that head, son. Dude, you are just getting ignorant with me now. <laughs> Why I I just, I just ignorant? <laughs> You're over here professing your uh, your adult feelings nah, for dude, Lindsay she got, Lohan. She got, on, she got on the drugs. <laughs> she turned into something not... I take Jonas drugs, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Wow. I was say they make them hotter, but it really doesn't. Yeah. It's like, in that, never mind. <laughs> This is what happens when I wake up. I start yeah, I know, right? Saying I like the way that uh, a girl with a little bit of addiction. I mean, you know, some girls. addiction? Yeah, some girls wear a little addiction kind of nice, though. You know? Do they? <laughs> is that true? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they're addicted to the D. Like, I just don't like my girls to be 100% clean. Like, you Yeah, know. but they can, like, not be addicted. They can like like to smoke weed, and that doesn't mean they gotta be addicted to something. You're like, I like to take perks without prescription every so often. I like, take, no. I take Jonas. I feel like everybody has their own personal addiction. Yes. It doesn't necessarily have to be a chemical addiction, though. No, it could be women. It could, it could be ch- chili. <laughs> chili. <laughs> You got a chili addiction? You yeah, got chili? yeah, bro. I can't, can't help myself. Sitting with like a Nike shoebox with like some <laughs> whore mail in it? Yeah. Just, just, just I'm like, no just one a, needs to see this. Just a can of whore mail and a hypodermic needle? <laughs> Trying to shoot up beans in my veins. Yeah, man, I feel like everybody does have an addiction of some sort. Yeah. So, you know. I think that's a true statement. I think it's just about how socially acceptable that addiction is, Jonas. Yeah. What, what would you say your addiction is, Jonas? Oh, God. I hit the wrong button. Mine is pretty easy. Video games? Yeah. I have a problem. Um. Let's see. What is my addiction? But at least I ain't hurting nobody. Golly, you like... That's the good thing. What am I, oh, they scored. What am I addicted to? I think you're addicted to talking. To, yeah, that's probably fair. Talking to people. Oh, yeah. Socializing? Yeah, I'm addicted to that. A social addict. Yeah, dude. I am. But that's because I'm an extrovert. And that's where I get my energy. You get your energy from being by yourself. Yeah, we we already gone through that a hundred times. Well, yeah, but like, I mean, it's now is that an addiction? So are you addicted to like hanging out by yourself? No. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> addicted to hanging out with people. Yeah. But I don't know. Okay, so like, what? Do, let's look up the definition for addiction. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna look up the definition for addiction just so I can 
to see how hot it actually is. Yeah, um, we don't have tons of time, so just. I mean, it's fine, dude. I'm still gonna look up addiction. Of course, my phone is 27 years old, so it takes forever. Hey, man. A dick. Okay, I typed in the entire word, <laughs> and then it's just now showing up. It looks like my computer at work. Oh my god, it's it's a great thing. All right, there's an addiction hotline. Thank you, you better for that. call that up, dude. I'm, addic I'm addicted to hot. What if you're addicted to hotlines and you're calling me? They're like, stop calling our hotline. You're addicted. And he's like, but I'm addicted. Any addiction help? With what? It's calling hotline. <laughs> A brain disorder characterized by compulsive engagement and rewarding stimuli despite adverse consequences. Oh, so like, okay. So it has to be something that has a negative. Like, you can't be addicted to like giving people what money i feel like that could fall some adverse that, that's true to be you can't be addicted to like being kind uh, i'm trying to think if that could cause some adverse i feel like if it gets to the point where it starts causing you issues I, mean, I guess anything if, the, if it's if, if it's messing up your life in any way is yeah, bad. So, like, yeah. I could be so addicted to, like, volunteering that I'm, like, not going to my real job and Neglect losing my house because I'm not getting yeah, money. So, I mean, like... Neglecting your family. Yeah, exactly. Or, like, you know... So, I mean, but I see, like, video game addiction and all that because you hear about, like, those people in, like, Korea who, like, are so addicted to, like, StarCraft. Oh, my God. He broke 90 yeah. tackles and he's on the way. That, like, they let their baby die. We were actually talking about that on the podcast how they entered video game addiction into the DSM-5 so that it, you can actually, like, claim it on insurance that you have a video game addiction. Man, get some free uh, Zoloft or something. Yeah. I don't know if mine is to that level yet. No, I don't think so because, like, if, if you work. have stuff to do, there's been, there's been times where, like, you've went and done things. Outside of the house, <laughs> like with, with me. What? Are yeah. you saying I left <laughs> the house? <laughs> no, but like there'll be things that like numerous days things will happen in a row, and you'll be like, man, I barely played any video games over the last few days. People with a true addiction would be like, no, I'm not going. I gotta stay home and play video yeah, games. I'm like, I need it. Dude. Right? You're like, oh, I haven't played video games today. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna cancel this plan to stay home and play video games. You know what, Joe Rogan? Yeah, I play Xbox. I'd like one crack, please. <laughs> Oh, crap. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, send us friends, family, and all of the above. Don't be addicted unless it's to us because that's a positive thing. Unless you want to be hot. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Jonas. TNT Dynamite. <laughs> we are out.